shut the front, back, and all the side doors. I'm doing a short video. Can you believe? Continuing to share my Parisian adventures with you, this pocket size installment is to share with you my realization that I think the back of Notre Dame does not get nearly as much leaven as the front of it does, which is frankly a darn shame. It's beautiful. I got way more footage of the back rather than the front, which you will very soon see that evidence of. That was so smooth. <laughs> Check it out right now. <laughs> During my first trip to Europe back in 2015, I used a borrowed GoPro to capture everything. And before that, any kind of trip that I did, I had used just my phone camera, which honestly worked just fine. But for this particular trip, for the footage you are seeing now, I had an upgrade in my camera. However, it still has its own limitations. For instance, if I want to zoom in on anything without a tripod, <laughs> that's that's cute to think that I can manage that. Nah. Also zooming in, it loses some of its clarity. You know, it's, it's a win-lose. It's, it's a give and take, I should say. Anywho, enough about recording things. I would definitely say it's a lot busier at the front of the cathedral than it is at the back, at least from what I could tell. Uh, my husband and I visited the cathedral on two separate occasions, the first time to see the front, and the second time was to see the back of it. It's just how our adventuring had worked out. As you may or may not be able to tell from my very similar shots of the back of Notre Dame, I just, I really enjoyed it. There's a lovely garden at the back with benches spread around under trees so you can just sit and enjoy the, the view and the atmosphere. I don't know why I found this so amusing, but when I was filming at the back of the cathedral, I spotted a couple of, I guess, field mice just scampering about in the flowers and I don't know, it just, it just made me smile. My camera captures it well enough, but the moon was just so pretty that particular evening that we went. It kind of created a magical feeling to the space. Since it was kind of late evening when we did go see the back of the cathedral, it wasn't long before two workers came out and started essentially herding everyone out of the garden. One guy was just blowing his whistle every few seconds while another guy bellowed something in French. And I kind of wish I had captured this, if only so I can have someone out there who actually speaks French could translate what this guy was kind of yelling at us. While we were there, my husband and I didn't get a chance to visit inside of Notre Dame. It, again, it's just how it worked out. and. Considering recent events, it might be a while before anyone can. But for sure, just like the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame is definitely a place I think you should visit at least once if you can. I do wonder, if any of you have visited Notre Dame, have you ever visited during a time that it wasn't busy? I guess I imagine maybe during really early mornings it might not be too crowded, but... I can't really think of another time when it wouldn't be. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, that's that's it, folks. I said this was pocket-sized, and it is. So that's all I have for you today. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.